Hello friends, welcome to Informatica tutorial. Today we are going to see what are the different approaches to optimize the Informatica components. So here to optimize the source, what you should do if the source is a flat file, then ensure the file is local to Informatica server. If the file with the source is an relation table, then try not to use a synonym or alias because they are take a lot of time. If the source is flat file, then reduce the number of bytes. By default is 1024 bytes per line. The Informatica reads per line. If you do this, we can decrease the line sequential buffer length setting of the session properties. If possible, give conditional query in source qualifier so that record are filtered up as soon as in the po as as soon as possible in the process. So write down a query conditional query of source filter in source qualifier. In the source qualifier, if the query has order by group by, then create index on the source table and order by the index field of the source table. It will help you to access the data fast from the source. Next, we will see target component. If the target is a flat file, then ensure the flat file is local to Informatica server. If the target is relational, then try not to use the synonym or alias. Use bulk load option whenever possible. It will help to load the data with more input output with more input output rate. Increase the commit level. If the data is more, then increase the commit level. It will help. Increasing committing level help to insert more data and commit at a frequent commit level. Drop the constraint indexes of the table before loading. So this is the best practice to drop the constant index on the table before loading and create after data loaded. Next we will see a mapping component in Informatica. Mapping help to channel the flow of data from source target with the all transformation in between. Mapping is the skeleton of Informatica loading process avoid executing major skills from map data mappings use optimized query we are using them so the queries should optimize and should not take more time to execute Reduce the number of transformation in the mapping. Actual transformations like rank, joiner, filter, aggregator should be used as little as possible because it will take a lot of time. Remove all unnecessary links between the transformations from mapping. If a single mapping contains many targets, then Then dividing them into separate mapping can improve the performance. If there are multiple target in the same mapping, and if you can separate or create another mapping, it will be very helpful to improve the performance. If you need to create, if you need to use a single source more than once in the mapping, then keep only one source and source qualifier in the mapping. Then create a different data flow as required into different target or same target.
If the session drives many source tables in source qualifier, then optimized query will be improved the performance. It will help to fetch the data quickly if you use many tables in the source qualifier. In SQL query that Informatica generates, order by will be present. Remove the order by clause if not needed. At least reduce the number of column names in that list for better performance. Best to order by the index field on that table. Combine the mapping that use same set of data source. On mapping field with the same informat information should be given the same type and length throughout the mapping. Otherwise, time will be spent on the field conversion. So data data type should be same throughout the mapping. Instead of doing complex calculation in the query. Use expression transformation and do the calculation in the mapping. So do not use any functions in the theory. Rather you can use expression transformation in mapping. It will improve the performance and will work for you. If the data is processed passing through multiple staging areas, removing the staging area will increase the performance. Try remove multiple staging area I will improve the performance. Store procedure reduce the performance. Try to keep the procedure simple in the mapping. Or you can use the store procedure in the pre or post SQL. Unnecessary data type conversion should be avoided since the data type conversion impact the performance. Transformation error result in the performance degree degree degradation. Try running the mapping after the removing all transformers. If it is taking significantly less time than the transformation, then we have to fine tune the transformation. Keep the database interaction as much as possible. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.